Have you ever lost focus or times when you feel like you wanted to give up or even when you feel like that's taking forever to learn to code? Well, don't worry because I am definitely been there, done that, felt the same way. So here today, I have a few tips that would help you to stay focused and stay consistent when you're learning to code. everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May and I am a software engineer living in New York City. In this channel, you will learn a lot about how to start learning to code, a lot of things about web development and all things related to tech. And if you like this type of content, maybe consider subscribing because there are a ton more of this kind of videos in this channel. The tip number one is create your plan of attack, right? So if you already know that this is your end goal, it's important for you to prep yourself into wanting to accomplish that goal one day. It's important to have a clear vision because I think that when you have a clear vision and manifesting on what you truly want in your life, it's so much easier to make decisions in your life. For instance, if you have a goal that you wanted to study two hours per day, on top of your full-time job, it's easier for you to make a decision and tell your friends, hey, you know what, I have this thing that I have to do and it's for a long-term you know, goals that I wanted to accomplish in my life. So hence, happy hours, no, or making plans for friends, no, I wanted to focus on this. Knowing and having a plan really going to help you to say no to a lot of things that you don't have to do and really focusing on the important things that you have to do. The number two tip to help you to stay consistent and most efficient when you're learning to code is actually knowing your learning patterns. Why is this so important? It's because everyone has a different learning pattern. Some people might absorb information better when they're reading documentations or reading a book. If you are a visual learner, meaning that you like and understand information through tutorials and graphs and stuff like that, I would highly recommend to use either Udemy or YouTube or even Patreon, Skillshare, all these different platforms to help you to boost up your knowledge. Instead of watching Netflix and chill, it's probably better for you to actually set up you know 30 minutes or an hour to actually watch a learning tutorial on the internet if you are a interactive learner meaning that you like to do projects along the way there's other resources where you can actually work through the problem steps by step there's so many different learning patterns and you got to understand and try to find out what is your learning pattern and then try to apply that learning pattern into your daily routine and that's going to help you in the future to be easier to adapt to that change because the less frictions that you created in your life, the better that you are going to follow that habit and routine. Hence, you're gonna make it consistent. Number Oops, sorry. So number three is actually your phone. What I'm trying to say here is distractions. There's so many distractions either on social media or, you know, YouTube, Netflix, like there's just like a lot, even from your friends who's texting you all the time. So it's important for you to find a way to remove your distractions because distractions are everywhere. So what you can do is actually locking your phone far, far away from you when you need to focus. And time blocking is important because when you time block, and make sure that you focus on studying during that time it's really going to help you to stay focused I like to use these concentration tools and apps on my phone to help me to stay focused so one of the apps that I use is called forest and basically what you do is you kind of just use a pomodano technique where you set like 20 minutes or 25 minutes to an hour and um, you're not supposed to check on other things applications or um, social media when you're focusing on that time and I also have a playlist here where you can study with me so if you find that's helpful for you definitely try to use that playlist as well the last and probably is the most important thing is to embrace your journey like really truly embrace every single steps of your journey so you might feel like it's taking forever for you to learn in comparison to other people or sometimes you feel like this whole journey just taking forever but remember that's okay you're at the moment right now in this journey and you're never gonna go back to as a beginner and 
down, you know, three years later when you're looking back, it's such a magical journey that you've been taking on and there's so many things you're learning new every day and that's a great feeling. So it's okay to embrace your journey. It's okay to be acceptable to where you're at right now. There's so many things you will need to learn and there's so many things that might stressing you out because you haven't known them yet, but that is okay. You are competing with yourself and as far as I know, the more that you learn, the better that you are. So don't worry too much about you're not getting there yet. Just enjoy the journey, enjoy the ride. So what is the bottom line here? So the bottom line here is in order to stay consistent, you have to have a plan and be visualizing that plan and knowing that one day you're gonna achieve the goal. At the same time, you need to understand your learning patterns, understand how to apply your learning pattern into your daily routine so that becomes natural to you every day. It almost becomes a habit. The third thing that you have to do is remove distractions. When you're in the zone, make sure that you're in the zone protect your focus energies the last but very important thing is to embrace your journey like really embrace where you're at what you're learning right now it's okay to not to know everything and one day when you look back and you're gonna feel so rewarding and so glad that you took this journey if you don't know where to begin and you're still very confused I highly recommend to check out my video here how to start learning to co and as well as how do you stay motivated when you're learning to co if you are confused with your learning journey and you wanted to set up a one-on-one -on -one session with me make sure to check out the link down below here and until next time I'll talk to you soon bye